Hey, it's Jeff Summers with Watch You Know, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Sterling Celestia 897 watch. Yeah, it's an homage to the Rolex Cellini Moon Phase. Give you an overview of the watch, tell you everything that you need to know about it, and then I'm going to take the watch outside, and finally, I will give you my honest opinion. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And those links are below. Let's waste no more time and get right into it. Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, I wanted to give you an overview of this watch first and this is just going to be the facts. I'm not going to really share any opinions about the watch. This way I can really separate what is a hard fact versus my own opinion. Everybody has their own opinion and my opinion is my opinion. Uh, it may be different than yours. The watch does come in this case that I do not believe is wood and I do not believe it is cardboard. There's something in between. As I open it up, you see the watch in there. I just want to bring about that it is really well made in the fact that you can hear this close and you'll be able to tell. Check this out. So it is very solidly built in that regards. Oh, and by the way, of course you get this little, I guess, tag, and then also instruction manual and a cleaning cloth. The watch is certainly a homage to the Rolex Cellini moon phase. And this Celestia comes in several a variation. This, of course, being the black, there also is a brown, a white, and a rose gold. Uh, 42 millimeters in diameter, 9.5 millimeters tall, and a 22 millimeter lug width. The crystal is a Cristerna crystal, which Sterling claims outperforms sapphire and is shatterproof. It has a moon phase, of course, it's the whole draw to this watch. And I want to bring about that the moon phase is fairly easy to uh, change, unlike some other moon phase watches. I pulled it out to the first position and watched the moon turn. Okay, so you just set it that easily and then push the crown back in. And of course, like any of these uh, three hand watches, you pull it all the way out. And it is powered by a Ronda 706.1 quartz movement. Look, looky look, what's this? It is the sticker on the back. So I am going to pull that sticker off because I know a lot of you like to see that. So here we go. Ooh, there it is, all nice and shiny. So anyways, I've turned it over here on the back and you notice that we have the Sterling logo, which to me looks a little bit like a um, you know, spaceship and we've got the theme of the stars and all that. And of course, on the back of the watch, it gives us information as all watches basically do. Cristerna Crystal, Japan Movement, uh, stainless steel, 316L stainless steel, and it is water resistant to 50 meters. The watch comes with a two-year warranty. Let's go ahead and take this Sterling Celestia outside, and then I'll give you my opinion. All right, outside with the Sterling Celestia Moon Phase watch. Let you see what it looks like in the sunlight. And then I'm going to give you my opinion on this timepiece.
Okay, so my opinion, and keep in mind, it's my opinion, it may not be yours. I'm gonna tell you the five things I like most about this watch and the five things I like least. Let's start with those pros. First of all, the watch itself is reminiscent of the Rolex Cellini Moonface. And that is awesome. I love that timepiece and someone that can't afford the Rolex Cellini might be able to afford this watch. We'll talk about price at the very end. So that's great. I just love the large crown and it's signed and it is very ornate. The moon phase is incredibly easy to set. I have a Zeppelin Rome and I did a review on that and that is a pain in the arse to <laughs> set. It is unfun. This watch is so easy to set. Very cool. I love the case back art. To me, the Sterling logo looks a little bit like a flying ship, like a spaceship. And then we have the stars, and then maybe you consider this crescent, like it's a part of the you know, crescent moon. And it really ties well into the celestial theme of the Sterling Celestia. Who knew? <laughs> the last thing I'll mention that I like about it is the taper on the band. Yes, it is a 22 millimeter band, um, the width up here, but then it tapers nicely down. So that's great. Now, let me give you the five things I don't like about the watch. First of all, the name Sterling Original. Come on, this watch is not original. There's nothing original about this watch. It is an homage, and by nature of that, the, it's not going to be very original. And most Sterling watches are homage watches, so please drop the original. It cheapens the brand. Can you imagine Mercedes Original or Rolex Original? It doesn't need that, so take that off. And you can change your name. It has been done, remember, Federal Express? I don't like the Cristerna crystal because I just can't believe that it's better than Sapphire, especially if those luxury watches like Rolex, Patek Philippe, Richard Mille, they're not using it. And if it was so great, those companies would be putting that type of crystal on their watches. It just really, to me, cheapens the credibility of the company. And you can find watches that are a great bang for the buck in the $100 price range, such as the Casio Edifice and the Pagani GMTs, which both have sapphire crystal. The next thing I don't like about this watch has to do with the movement. And I know Sterling didn't design it, but they did pick this movement. But you can see if we look right here, let me try to, Right at the end of my finger, you see part of the mechanism peeking through. And you should just not have to see that. Next thing that is a con is that the lugs are not turned down. At least they're not turned down much. And it creates an awkward gap between the case back and your wrist. Not good. The final con is the watch strap itself. Yes, I do like how it tapers if you have to keep it on here and you don't want to change watch straps. That's nice, but it feels a little bit plasticky. Plasticky? Is that a word? It feels a little bit cheap. Uh, yeah, it's, it's leather, but keep in mind that genuine leather is not that high of a standard. It's not top grain leather or anything like that. There are much better straps. For example, the, all of the straps by Vario. I just recently did a review on the Popeye Classic by Vario, but Vario started as a watch strap company. So maybe one of those watch straps would look great on this timepiece. Overall, this is a beautiful timepiece. 
that has an easy set moon phase. The watch certainly does what Sterling is after. It gives you a timepiece that looks much more luxurious and expensive than what it really is. And at the time of this filming, the watch is selling for $95. Thanks for watching that review of this Celestia 897 by Sterling Original. And if you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have a watch you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to review your very own watch, uh, go ahead and DM me, direct message me in Instagram, and uh, we can set that up. So have a great evening, day, morning, night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you in the next watch review. Bye.